So when this video between some Harnett County teens and deputies surfaced, CBS 17's Amy Cutler is digging deeper to find out what happened when the camera wasn't rolling. I came here to the Harnett County Sheriff's Office, but they're not talking about the case. I did have the chance to speak with a neighbor who says he called 911. He tells me he witnessed what happened when deputies arrived before the camera was rolling. I was just scared. I was just trying to cooperate with them as best as possible. Ambria Urban says she took the video. It shows a Harnett County Sheriff's deputy force her 14 year old sister to the ground. What are you doing right now? It happened just before 11 Monday morning on Winding Ridge in Sanford. Investigators say they were called here by a neighbor who reported illegal drug activity and a man with a gun. When deputies arrived, they tell us they spotted a car and driver matching the description and smelled marijuana. I spoke with a neighbor who says he made that 911 call and witnessed what took place after. All the people out there started yelling at the sheriffs, being uncooperative, and I stood right here and watched it in my front yard. That neighbor asked that we not identify him. He tells me he saw the 14 year old grab something from the deputy. That's when he tackled her. You're saying you believe the deputies did what they're supposed to yeah, do? Yeah, they did. They did what they were supposed to do. They handled it. They didn't do anything out of disrespect. Investigators say the 17 year old driver had an outstanding warrant. He was arrested. Urban admits her sister had a small amount of marijuana, but she doesn't understand why that deputy came after her. For them to tackle me for recording is absolutely wrong. I feel like I was harassed. I feel like that was assault. I don't feel like I deserve that at all. The Harnett County Sheriff's Office referred all questions to the SBI, which is investigating. I also reached out to the Harnett County District Attorney and still haven't heard back. In Lillington, Amy Cutler, CBS 17 News.